Hi loves! So today I have a super fun makeup and outfit inspired by the 4th of July and I'm super excited because it's the one time a year where you can get all decked out in your patriotic outfits and makeup and not look completely ridiculous. So this is most likely what I'm going to be wearing on the 4th of July just because I don't have a ton or like any red, white, and blue in my closet to begin with because it's not really a color or colors that I like shop for a lot. So if you follow me on Instagram, then this is probably what you're going to see on Fridays. So be on the lookout for all my selfies that I'm going to be taking. So yeah, if you guys like this video, as always, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss out on any future videos. And be sure to comment down below and let me know what your plans are for the 4th of July because I would love to hear and talk to you guys. So if you want to know how I get this makeup and outfit, then please keep watching. Bye! So the first thing I'm going to do is apply primer to my face. I'm using the Benefit Professional and the Hard Candy Shine Free Primer. And I'm applying these two all over just to assure that I have a nice matte finish and that my makeup will last all night. Following that, I'm taking my True Match Crayon Concealer from L'Oreal. I forget the name of the shade, but I will list it down below for you guys. But I know this is really dark, but it does match my body. Anyways, I'm applying this to the problem areas on my face because I feel like foundation on 4th of July can be a little bit too heavy on the face, especially if you're going to be outside all night or something. So I think concealer and powder is really the way to go or using tinted moisturizer or BB cream. But I love concealer and this one's really, really nice and it's not cakey or heavy on the skin. So I'm applying this and then blending it out with my flat top from Sigma. To highlight and conceal my under eye area, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Honey. I love this concealer and I swear by this concealer. I love it so much. It's so amazing and I've been using this for years and if you're looking for a really good drugstore concealer, definitely go and buy this one. It's ugh, just flawless. So I am blending everything out and then I'm going in with the Sigma F86 to blend out underneath my eyes. To set my concealer, I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and applying that all over my face. Then I'm going in with the Six Color Palette from Amazon and I'm taking that middle shade to set underneath my eyes. Then I'm going to contour. I'm using this dark brown shade from the same palette from Amazon and I'm going to just contour and bronze up my face. Then I'm taking these two blushes and I'm going to just add a light wash of color to my cheeks. Then I'm going in with the Benefit What's Up highlighter and I'm going to highlight the tops of my cheekbones and also down my nose. I did go ahead and do my eyebrows already because I always seem to do it in all my videos so I will have an eyebrow tutorial for you guys soon so just be on the lookout for that. Anyways, then I'm going in with my Naked Palette, an oldie but a goodie, and I'm taking the color Buck and I'm just buffing that right into my crease back and forth just for a nice light wash of color into the crease because I don't want the eyes to be super intense since I am going to be doing some blue liner. Choose one. I'm then going in with the color Virgin and I'm applying that underneath my brows to highlight my brows and also in the inner corner just to really make my eyes appear larger and more awake. Taking the color Sin and Sidecar and then applying that all over the center of my lid. Then I went in with more of the color Buck and just buffed that into my crease more just so I can blend everything out nicely and I have no harsh lines. Then I'm taking my Milani liquid liner in the shade Sparkling Turquoise and this is what the brush looks like. It is a little tricky to work with but I still managed to do the winged liner and yeah I know it looks a little bit sloppy and I am going to go in at the end and clean everything up so that it doesn't look so you know choppy or like harsh or anything so then I'm going in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga Mascara and I'm just going to apply a few coats of that. Then I'm taking this Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner in the shade Distortion and I'm applying that underneath my lower lashes. Then for my lips, I'm using the L'Oreal Color Riche Lip Liner in the shade Rouge or Red I believe. It's just a red color and I'm just lining and filling in my lips just to make them last all night. 
Then I'm going in with MAC's uh, Ruby Woo Matte Lipstick and I'm applying that. This is a bit drying so then that's why I went in with the Maybelline Color Elixir in the shade Original Scarlet just to add a nice gloss and then I went in and blotted it so it doesn't look super glossy at the end. And then I'm going to just put my finger in my mouth just to assure that I don't get any red lipstick or gloss on my teeth. So here is my outfit for the 4th of July. So this really pretty beaded red, white, and blue necklace is from Forever 21. And I absolutely love it. It's really fun and pretty. And then my red crop top is from Forever 21 as well. It's just a really simple red crop top with a little bit of crochet on the bottom. And my red, white, and blue pencil skirt is from Charlotte Russe. For my hair, I just decided to put it up into a messy bun because it's really, really hot out and I just wanted to get my hair out of my face. And then for shoes, I'm wearing these white sandals from TJ Maxx. So that is everything for this outfit. I hope you guys have a safe and happy 4th of July and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Go, go, go.